Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my project pan finale from 2021. It has been a while since I did an update because I've been super busy and I know I did my last update late, so I figured I wouldn't do an update until after the year and it's late, so oh well. I did this in collaboration with Natalia Lavrova and she has also been super busy, so we haven't really been checking in, but we figured we would finally get an update up for the end of the year. Plus I am moving, so I need to get these products out of my house. <laughs> so I will leave her channel and all her videos down below along with my videos. If you have not seen any of the other Project Pan videos I did for 2021, I will leave that all in the description box down below. But if you are new here, I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos and let's get started. First up is the Too Faced Primed and Peachy Primer, and I haven't really used this much. You can see the last update. I actually did not put anything up there for this update just because I haven't really used this, but I'm pretty sure this is expired, so this is going in the garbage. I do really like this primer, but it is fairly old, so this needs to go in the trash. And then onto foundations. I have the Dior Backstage Foundation, which I did finish the 2N and this is the 1N. So you can kind of see in the light where it is. I didn't mark it, but this is where I'm at. But this is pretty much gone too. And I'm pretty sure this is expired. So this is also going to go in the garbage. I'm not going to take this with me. And again, pretty sure this is expired. So I really do need to throw this out. So I got pretty, pretty close to finishing. So I think I did a really good job. And the other one that I did want to finish was the Matte and Poreless. Um, this is in 220, which is my dark shade. And honestly, you can't even see anything in here. It's flipped over because I'm trying to get the rest of it, but that is where I started this last quarter and I'm pretty sure I am down to the last drop. So finish this one as well. I will keep this out because I'm probably going to use this this week just so I can really finish it and then throw it out. But this is officially done. Onto concealers. I originally had the Maybelline concealer, which I did finish. I don't remember what quarter I finished it in, but I did finish it. So I did add in the Wet n Wild concealers and I think the e.l.f. one. So the e.l.f. one, you can see my marks, but you can also see where I'm at right now, which is about there. So this is getting close to empty too. So I'm doing a really good job with this one. I'm still going to keep this though. And then the Wet n Wild one, I did not mark, but this is also almost empty. I feel like this is like really, really close. And then this is the lighter one, which I'm still going to keep because this is not close to empty, but this one is. So I'm probably going to leave this one here or throw this one out. So that is pretty good so far. Then I have the Tarte Aqua Sealer, which this is very, very old. I haven't really used this much either but this is definitely expired, so this is going in the trash. Then, what else do I have? Okay, on to powder. Where is it? Yeah. I have the Too Faced Peach Perfect Powder, which I love this powder so much. And you can see, I'm trying to shake it so it's even, this is like down to the bottom. So again, I think I did a really good job with this. I love this powder, so it is hard for me to let go if it's not empty, but, I don't need to take this much with me because it just takes up space. So I probably will throw this out as well. And then the other powder is the NARS Translucent Crystal Powder. This is the pressed one. This is what it looks like. I don't think I made much more of a dent this year, but I don't need to take that because I don't really use it as much. I mean, this whole year I didn't really use this powder. So I think I'm going to also toss this one. I had the two Morphe brow products. I did finish the gel, which is good. I'm going to, that is not the right side. I'm going to finish the brow pencil this week. This is all I have left of that. So again, I think I did a good job with that. I'm surprised I didn't finish it, but at the same time, I didn't really wear that much makeup this year. So I guess I'm not super, super surprised, but I will be finishing that this week and that will be going in the garbage. I had the Tardis Pro Palette as my project pan for one of these shadows, 
trying not to blind you. It was this shadow right here, so there is a significant dip. It's definitely not panned, but I made even more of a dip, so that's good. I love this palette, so I'm, of course, not getting rid of this. And I actually forgot about this in my eyeshadow palette collection video, which if you have not seen, I will link that down below and in the cards. But I forgot that in the video, so this is staying in my collection, but I got good use out of that shade. Onto mascaras. I have quite a few listed because I have done multiple rounds of mascaras. So order one, I had the Mary Kay Mascara Clinique and the Urban Decay Perversion Mascaras, which I finished. And then I moved on to the Pretty Vulgar, the Feathers Mascara, and All My Mascara, and then the Benefit Roller Lash, which I also finished. And now this time around, I had the MAC Gig Black, which is right here. This I really only use for my bottom lashes, so this is not empty, so I'm still going to keep this. And then I have the Joa Lash Up Rising, which I did not finish either. Let's see what this looks like. Now this is pretty liquidy, but I think I'm going to throw this out because I don't really use this as much. I don't really like it. And then I have the Marc Jacobs At Lashed Mascara, which is pretty much gone. I have that on my lashes today, but it's pretty dried out. So this is definitely going right in the garbage. So I finished that. Oh, I missed a brow product. I have this from Chella. This is the Tantalizing Taupe Eyebrow Cream, which this is also going in the garbage. I didn't really finish it completely. Yeah, I didn't. This is really hard to see. But I didn't finish it completely, but I'm not really a huge fan of this product. So this is just going in the garbage as well. Then I have the Butter Bronzer, which I picked for my bronzer. I did not pan this, obviously. So I kind of did make a dip into it because I have used it significantly this year, but not enough to pan it. I still love this bronzer. It's not going anywhere. Onto lips, I just had this one gloss from Allmar Cosmetics. This is in the shade Coqueta. I love this gloss. It's on my lips right now. Um, this is still good. So I don't really know what I'm going to do with this. I didn't finish it. But I don't know if I'm going to keep it because it is fairly old. We will see, but I did not finish it this year. Then I have two eyeshadow primers. The first one is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, which I did finish, so that's pretty good. And then I have the MAC Painterly Paint Pot, which I did not finish. There is a significant dent in it, but I didn't finish. I love this primer, so I'm still going to keep this one. And then I had two setting sprays. The first one is MAC Fix Plus, which you can see there is just a little bit left, which I will keep for this last week. And then I have the Urban Decay, what is this called? All Nighter, which I did finish. So that's good as well. And then I had a few skincare products. So the first one is the Ulle Henriksen Cold Plunge Pore Mask, which I did finish. This is just the mini size, and I love this mask, but I did finish it. And then I had the Laneige Lip Sleeving Mask. This is the vanilla one. I did finish this one as well. I am onto an apple one, but I'm probably at that first mark for the apple one. It is on my nightstand right now. I forgot to bring it over here, but I don't need to. So that's probably about there, but I at least finished the first one, which I thought was pretty impressive for me. And then a couple of Drunk Elephant products. One is the Baby Facial which I did finish, I think, last quarter, possibly. So that has been in the trash. I have the Dew Bronzing Serum, which I've barely, barely used. So that has not changed at all. That's actually still in my bathroom. Or I think I mistakenly packed that up already. So that is why I'm not showing that. It is not finished, but there was no difference from the last update. And then I had the two perfumes to finish out my project pan. One was Victoria's Secret Teas which I did finished last quarter, I think. And then the other one is from Tory Burch. This is Jolie Fleur Bleu. And I didn't really make much more of a dent in here. I've only used it a couple more times just because I have so many perfumes. So I think I'm still going to keep this in my collection because it really doesn't take up much space. <laughs> but I didn't finish it. So overall, I think I did a pretty good job with my project pan this year. I went through quite a few products, which is amazing. And I think I'm going to do something similar in 2022. I want to do more Shop My Stashes just so I use the makeup in my collection. 
So we will see what happens in 2022. I will probably have a new setup. So hopefully I will use the makeup more depending on how it's set up in my room. But maybe I will do an update once I actually move. So this is going to be one of the last few videos that has this setup right here because I will be moving, so there will be a different setup. Well, it'll probably look the same to you because I'll probably still have the same background, but everything else setup-wise for me will be different, but you wouldn't really know that. So maybe I will do an update of my setup when I actually move. Anyway, I don't think I'm going to be doing a project pan in 2022, but I will be doing more shot my sashes. So I will keep you guys updated on that. But that completes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.